Uh, yes, excuse me. Um, I would like to get the mozzarella sticks, but could you remove the batter from it? Honestly, if you could just make it two of them. Happy birthday to you. No, Andrew, I told you, come in on the second chorus, like row, row, row your boat. That's what this restaurant right. does differently. Jesus. Come on, man. How many times? I paid enough I'll for this start shit. I'll alone. Happy birthday to Happy you. Happy birthday to Happy you. Happy birthday to you. Wait, wait, guys. Birthday birthday you. Now you're getting Are you guy? doing some sort of birthday challenge for me? That's, that's right. right. Andrew, let me say that's right first, then you say it on my heels. That's, that's right. right. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two three, three, four. four. We're getting They say you're only as old as you feel, and I just turned 44, but I feel 65. So my question for them is, where is my social security? This is the Grolic Saves the World. My name's Adam Caton Holland. My name is Ben Roy. And I'm Andrew Orvidal. And I got to tell you, dudes, I'm I'm 21 years away from it, but I could use my Soch right now. I could well, use that discount. It's too bad you can't get it right now because you won't be getting it in 21 years. And, so. and that's another that's another bummer. Are you asking about your Social Security benefits or are you, are, is your Social Security card still lost? Still lost. Again. Yeah. Still lost. Well, it's a, it's a two-pronged question by me. Yeah. Has anyone seen my Social Security card? <laughs> if so, please return it to me. That's causing a lot of identity headaches for me. You've got to constantly. stop using that as your primary ID, Adam. That's not a good not primary ID. Yes, yeah. it is. You show anyone that at a bar, you're in. You're in. <laughs> Urine. You're yelling urine again, Adam. And again, it when you're in the bar and you're going urine, urine, and showing people. It's my way of asking go- for the bathroom. I, <laughs> I I need to. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> and then the other question for me is like, I could use the social security because I'm just going from appointment to appointment to appointment these days, dude. I, let me tell you about what I'm afflicted with right now, just out the gates. People don't even know this. I think. I think everyone thinks we're a beacon of health. I think people look at the Grolic Saves the World and they're like, those guys are ripping. Those guys are. It's because they're the lighthouse in Segway Bay. They see that and it's, you know, it's beckoning. But <laughs> right. No. Right. The Any lighthouse beckons the storm. Andrew. Is that what you're saying? It's like, come hither. Come hither. <laughs> come hither, says our lighthouse. Anyway, Adam, continue your dog shit story. I got, I'm doing PT for my knee. I went to the chiropractor last week. I got a right big toe ailment. Docs can't even figure it out. They just put me on meds, said, let's see if that causes the inflammation to go down. And this shit adds up, my dudes. Yeah. I made fucking money. Yeah. I'm with you, Adam. I spent uh, the weekend in, uh, uh, or Saturday in the hospital for ventricular tachycardia. Oh, shit. Yeah. What does that mean? No. Yeah. Okay. Are you trying That's... to flex? Are you trying to flex? Because my ailments oh, are lower Oh, ventricular half? tachycardia is the achy big toe of the heart. Mm. <laughs> I learned. Uh, pretty common. Pretty I common. Love that. I love that song. <laughs> it was Billy Ray Cyrus, wasn't it? Who sang... <laughs> <laughs> Achy big toe of the yeah, heart. Uh, um, no, yeah. Wait, so wait, what's going on, dog? Are you all right? Uh, I was doing my jits, taking a jits, as I normally do, uh, putting on the jits, however you want to say it. And Keep going. Uh, that's, how I, that's how. It's the last one. <laughs> And uh, I was up. Having a jits cracker. Yes, I was there, up there's jits a free one. creek with a pad. Staying at the jits Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> who gives a jit <laughs> so, there you go i was doing my jujits and i fucking <laughs> afterwards i couldn't slow my heart rate down i've been definitely stressed um it, there's been you know uh some things uh you know going on and like in my life that were stressful <laughs> and so if you're a listener of this podcast, Ben's life is so secret and cryptic. I love it. Because I, I always yeah. know what's going on. But he's like, I'm friends with a, I, a woman, maybe? I, for I, I, I am undergoing there's, something there's that things. is perhaps stressful. To, uh, Ben's a spy. And he can't <laughs> yeah, he can't talk about, about these no, heists I, uh, that he's I doing. I trained and taught for 
five years at a. Oh, you don't. No, have to, you don't have to. Do I'm not going to tell all of it. Uh, but uh, I trained uh, and uh, taught for a while at uh, a jujitsu place, and um, it was a, a group of people I considered a family. And uh, I had to leave because of a particularly toxic element there. And so, yeah. So I have. I've been stressed about that. And Ben, it, ben, it sounds like you're up Jits out. Creek without a paddle. I already said that, dork. Oh, God damn it. You missed it. <laughs> oh, damn. He stepped right in it. He, oh, my God. You are in the hack dump. It, it, I'm in hack dump. In I hack missed it. dump, dude. Well, I can't hear. That's my ailment. I can't fucking hear anything. <laughs> dude, Adam's I'm, big toe. My, as you called it, Andrew, flippity floppity heart is what you yeah. called my heart. And, uh, and you're hearing we are fucked. And I got this cough. I can't, I can't get rid of this fucking cough. Dude. I, Cause of jet lag comes back from Japan with a mysterious cough. Huh? I know this story. It's a pangolin tail. Well, I picked it up in the Osaka <laughs> aquarium full of 5,000 tourists. So yeah. I'm sure it's nothing. <laughs> Well, the point is we're doing great, but Ben, what your, your, your heart is all right. You, you, it's, it's, what, I don't know. They said, they said your heart was strong and it is great, Ben. That's what they said. You got to believe them. You got to believe them when they tell you those things. They said that my sinus rhythm is good right now, that, uh, I have a good, strong heartbeat and I have a good, they called it sinus arrhythmia, which is what you want to have that. I heard that and I was like, uh, and she was like, you have a very strong sinus arrhythmia. And that sounds bad, but it's actually a good thing. I learned this. When you inhale, you take a deep breath. They want your heart to beat faster than it does when you exhale because your heart is sort of being pressed against the front of your rib cage. And they also want it to deliver the oxygen. So it should increase. And they were like, you have a very strong that my electrolytes were good, but it was definitely real. Whatever happened was annoying and scary and uncomfortable. So just got to go see a doctor. But um, like Adam was saying, these are the things about getting older. What is wrong with your big toe? No fucking idea. It just hurts <laughs> or what? Yeah, it hurts if I do like a plank. You know what I mean? Like if I'm like bending my toe like that, it starts howling at me. And uh, I went to the doc and they're like, could be. Some Is this on the foot you had the surgery on? Nope. It's on my good foot. It's on my good foot. Oh, uh, well, you're too, yeah. you're much too little to have gout. So I guess I don't know what it they is. They brought gout up. He's like, I think it's a tendon issue or maybe gout. He's like, but he's my personal doctor. He's like, gout is uric acid stuff. Yes. Your ability to process uric acid. He's like, I took your uric acid levels two months ago. They're great. You don't live that gout life anyway. <laughs> I, I don't. Gout. I'm a very healthy guy. Down and gout. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Come on, Andrew. Let's go on a gout rip. <laughs> down this and gout guy in Beverly down Hills. And gout. <laughs> he is. He's really. Oh, we can do a gout riff. Yeah. <laughs> Are you driving that Subaru gout back? Is that what you're driving right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, without a gout. <laughs> We are crushing it this morning. The point is, we're all... We're, well, listen, Ben. Uh, we don't know what's up with your heart. We don't know what's up with my toe. We don't know what's up with Andrew's ears. We or only have so... Or the cough. Yeah. Or the cough. Yep. We only have so much time left. And the last challenge really showed me we don't know each other. We don't care about each nope. other. We might not even like each other. And I think it is time to fix that. And Liking it each starts other with you, Ben. Oh, are, it starts with you. Are we ben. gonna? Are we gonna hang out more? No. Oh, <laughs> but we are gonna make you feel appreciated because one of the more glaring, uh, glaring problems with the group is that none of us knew each other's birthdays very well. Well, we now know very well your birthday, Ben, is tomorrow as we record this. Yes, it is. And seeing as your heart's ailing and Andrew's dying, and I won't be able to stand on my tippy toes as firmly as I would like. All basically the same. All basically the same. I think it's time we show you. Yes. We show you, Ben, how we feel about you with a, a birthday card challenge. Oh, my God. Now, we did a card challenge before. It wasn't actually a card challenge. It was more of mailing someone uh, something we we did a, a challenge with Rory Scovel. That's right. We're fucking we, hilarious. I can't even remember what that was, but we just sent Rory a it bunch of It was send shit, someone right? like, an, a, a gift. Remember, it was and oh, it was yeah. whatever we wanted. 
I sent him a card, but Andrew sent him um, smushed crackers or something you made. Remember? It w- oh, right. And I sent him like a romance novel with me and him on the cover. Together. Yes. <laughs> so this wasn't a card <laughs> challenge. It was send Rory a bunch of shit through the mail, which was very You know, funny. Rory hasn't I talked to I don't remember what I sent him. Not- I guess it must have been pretty heartfelt. You sent him all those little crackers, those like you made some crackers and they all got Oh, crumbled. yeah. I made like homemade sourdough crackers. That was some peak <laughs> pandemic shit. I'll tell you what. That's what it was. It was so we, during the pandemic. We yeah. just unfurled our crazy on Rory for an episode. And he's like, thanks, guys. Remember how big my uh, card was? It was huge. Yeah, you made a giant yeah. card. Where he got to tie okay, so stuff. I started a knot in the card, and he finished the knot. And then it had a link to a video of me wearing next to nothing on my bed, like to of cooing course. at him. <laughs> I like the term cooing. Anyway. So in the spirit of that, we decided we would do a celebrate Ben while he's yeah. still and around. And I had admitted child. I'm terrible with birthdays. I'm terrible at remembering them. I'm terrible at celebrating them. I'm, I'll freely admit I'm not really a card person. I don't normally send cards. So this was a challenge. And I almost failed this challenge right off the bat. So well, it was, you did not, it was tough for me. And I, I, everybody listening, I came back from a nice evening motorcycle ride to relax myself around the neighborhood. And when I came home, my roommate was terrified, which means your letters came in. She was like, yes, <laughs> various Cards have been delivered to the house very creepily, is what I was told. Uh, so she was like, you've got some letters that were hand delivered to you. Uh, the dog was freaking out. You guys did it in the right manner. Yeah, I heard Jackson barking. Sorry. Me too. Uh, me too. So wait, so we know for a fact your birthday is tomorrow at the day that we record. Yes. We've already acknowledged that. Andrew and I know that. We invited producer Ron in on this. Ben, did you get a card from him? I Ron? did get a card from him, but I want you to know it is my birthday challenge, and I don't want him here. As many of you know. We'll keep, we'll keep him in his in his chamber. Yeah. Oh, so for act two, no. No, Ron. I cut the submersible chain. He's now resting on the ocean floor. Ooh, oh, my God. I hope that pressure differential is okay. Well, I think you know that he's doesn't breathe air the same way that we do. I mean, yes, physically he does, but I don't think he processes it in the same manner. And I think he's going to be fine down there. Well, he's been down there so long. He's kind of becoming like last time I saw him, it did appear there were little gill like things on his neck. Oh shit. They he's turning sort of, into uh, Kevin Costner's character in Waterworld. world. <laughs> I'm not saying, but maybe, maybe there, he's, he's trending that yep. way. And if not, if there's distress knocking, we'll send one of those Titanic billionaires down there to recover. That's it. And it'll be He'll fine. be fine. But um, yeah, Ron is just, you know, he and I don't get along the best. Sure. And he did send me a card. And so we'll take a look at that. And I want you, everybody listening, you're saying, well, if Ben doesn't get along with producer Ron and has left him on the ocean floor, will he judge his card fairly? Yes. Probably more fairly because Ron won't be talking. <laughs> right. And and people, I think a lot of people don't know how how just Ben is in these matters. I like people that he absolutely fucking hates. He's able to compartmentalize that. They call him King Solomon. They do be calling me King Solomon. Yes, they do. Yeah. A lot of people. So wise. So just. He is the King Solomon of comedy. And so act two. <laughs> You're going to open these cards. No one is and you're ever going to crown a winner, right? Me, the King Solomon. Of God. Well, we're going to start it. Dude. I've never been. That's Let's part of that. your birth. That's I've part of your birthday. It is regulated or just in my entire life. You're like that guy seems quiet and wise <laughs> over there. <laughs> hey, Grawlix Nation. Hashtag King Solomon of comedy. Get it going for Ben. <laughs> Make it follow him around as your birthday gift to him. I think everyone will think it's it's just and and I love guys, it. I, yeah, I, this is great. I'm excited, and this is an old school Grolic challenge because we did the challenge. There's going to be a winner. Ben is going to choose his favorite birthday card. We're I'm out of practice though. I'm excited. Usually second act, we're like, did everyone do the challenge? I fu- I botched that. I already revealed it, but whatever. We're going to open the cards. We we it's like check off. You 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 talk about a birthday card in the first act. You open it in the guys. Second. It, better it better go off. It better go off in the second. And mine, there's a fuse that's burning. So we better get to <laughs> yeah, the second guys, act. I'm like I'm so a excited. little kid on birthday eve here. I'm waiting for Bert 
Kreischer, the birthday saint, to come down. <laughs> the birthday saint. Bert Kreischer comes down. He gets the chimney. greased up and he comes Shirtless down the chimney. Down dude. the chimney. And I can't. Screaming with joy. Shrieking with I joy. I can't wait to see what birthday gift you guys got me. And what's in my cards, guys? I can't wait. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't a birthday gift challenge. It was a birthday card, a card. challenge. It's a card. This is not even maybe like a like a five. I'm just saying, I just want to bill. temper. Uh, I just want to temper your expectations. One that Art from Everclear used to say that even his drunk papa would send him don't. once in a while. Do, don't get, make me go down, father of mine. I'll be a weepy mess the rest of the episode. <laughs> All right. Don't take well, me down. Why, don't, why don't we do this? Let's take a quick break. Uh, for those of you that are listening on Patreon, you know you don't have to suffer through the ads. You're just going to zip right through to Act Two. Those of you that are streaming this for free, you can do the same. You can get in the HOV lane. You can jump. Jump over. You can also listen to some boy crazy. You can also enjoy fourth act, which is a whole other section, plus behind the scenes stuff. So get on over there. Check out our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Grolic Saves. But in the meantime, we're going to take a quick break, pay some bills. And when we return, I'm going to open my birthday cards, y'all. I'll close us out with this Daddy gave me a name. He named you Art. Then he didn't he like away. you, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Stay tuned. Then he walked away. Hey, it's Kaylee Cuoco for Priceline. Ready to go to your happy place for a happy price? Well, why didn't you say so? Just download the Priceline app right now and save up to 60% on hotels. So whether it's Cousin Kevin's Kazoo concert in Kansas City, go Kevin! Or Becky's Bachelorette Bash in Bermuda. You never have to miss a trip ever again. So download the Priceline app today. Your savings are waiting. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, price line. We are back through the magic of podcasting. Moments have elapsed. Uh, we kept talking about Everclear. Burt Kreischer came. He sung a few bars with us. It was a good time. But we are ready to get into the challenge. Uh, ben, you have in front of you three birthday cards. Three cards. Three cards. Three. So I think you were saying that since Ron's not here, why don't you, why don't you open that bitch's card first? Yes, I will. I will say that Ron, in his typical fashion, yeah. has tried to outdo you all and make you look stupid, which is part of the reason why I hate you. Can and I hate, wait, you hate deeply, us or Ron. him? I hate Ron. I'm addressing this to Ron because he will be editing this still. He will what be- is he compensating for? What? Why does he have to go so hard? You know what well, I mean? Well, one leg is far shorter than the other. <laughs> oh, that's it. That is, that's it. I have noticed that as he sort of like- That's why he's over. always walking in circles, scuffing <laughs> my wood floor when he comes by. That's why my roommate makes him stay out on the walkway. Mm. <laughs> where he can't but he's already well, he's already tried to outdo you. <laughs> okay <laughs> I, I love it we're learning a lot about ron he's already tried to outdo you both first of all ron's card came this morning typical and then so last minute so points last points, minute points taken away for that i think thoughtlessness and then second of all he came in and people who aren't uh he's got his own stamp it looks like he's got his own stamp and letterhead on the envelope he is trying to fuck you all that's the doyles that's which he has that and he he hand delivered it why does he need the return address stamp he hand delivered it he came into my house and watched me eat (laughs) <laughs> and said nothing. <laughs> he said nothing. He ignored that's my pa- dog. That's the, a power the, move. The, the dog wanted to be pet. He ignored him and just stared at me. Ron's while a I cat. Had my Ron's a cat. Can guy. I ask you a serious question? The pocket logo on the polo he was wearing was it the same exact logo same on the envelope? Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, that I gold embroidery that he gets done. I knew it. <laughs> He, you know, he gets it done at Colorado Mills Mall in beautiful golden. Oh, yeah. They'll Colorado. customize anything. They will. <laughs> anyway, Ron's card is here. It is addressed to Benjamin J. Roy, which means he knows my middle name. Which no, do you guys know my middle? I name? don't, and I I always say just because it's a joke, just for me. I call you Benjamin P. Roy. It doesn't. Yeah, what does the P stand it, it stands for? Stands for nothing. I just made it up one day, and I've always embraced it 
And I'll never I change. The, I know what the J stands for. And Jun- I'll never learn. Juniper Berry. You- he, he's my little <laughs> Juniper Berry. Ben, Is it Jer- Jeremiah? Juniper Berry. Roy. Juniper Berry. Yes. Um, and the other creepy thing is that, so he addressed this very nice on the front. Then on the back, just on the seam where it, it folds shut, he just put in little letters, I licked this. Mm. <laughs> okay. Points for yeah. that one. Points got, for that one. You got some of that Ron DNA now. Yes, exactly. I could I could definitely, if things go too far, I could definitely um, falsely accuse him of a or crime. Or it's just good to know that now we can clone Ron. If shit goes south and we have to retire this experiment, Ron 27B, we can just go right into Ron 27C. No yes. problem. Yes. Yes. 27A was a problem, and we thought B would be a correction. This is but the it's best been, run we've ever decanted. I it's will been say that. Better? <laughs> there are less glitches, for sure. But We're I getting there. We're getting we there. We but do have the to weird, kill B the, soon. How he, how he walks and then runs so suddenly and then walks again. Like that's it's dangerous. unsettling. It's Sorry. unsettling. Well, it's the little leg. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. We should fix that on, on Model D. <laughs> I like the little leg. I, <laughs> I think it's fun. It is like one of those imperfections that you put in there purposefully to let the people know you know what you're doing. I couldn't. Well, when he perfect. plays pickleball, we're like, oops, he's backwards again. You know, it's always strange. So, all right, I'm going to open this. For me, opening a birthday card, I'm going to give you a couple little things I always look for. I like the snap. <laughs> of the no. fold when it opens. So sure. I want to see if this one has a good snap. Well, Ron makes his oh, own envelopes. Oh, that's a good, that's a and, good. And Ron makes his own envelopes. Everyone knows yeah. that. And, Damn, and I should have starched my envelope. I didn't think about it. And this one already has a nice snap. Now, there is an on button. Now, I should tell everybody that's this right. card right. has an on button. He told me to open it upside down so that I saw the back first. Your card to make has sure. an on button. It's one of those cards. Yeah, it's because like every – well, makes a birthday card great is a list of instructions yeah. for enjoying it. Yeah. Now, I'm going to flip it over and see what is on the front. Is it on? <laughs> Did you turn it on? It's on. <laughs> so show, Okay, show it to us and I'll describe it. Okay, so um, it's, oh my god, oh, wow. it's it's a picture of Ben. It says "Happy 45th Birthday, Ben," and then it, on the shirt it says "It's a little more wrinkled," <laughs> and it's an actual photo of Ben. So this was done in Photoshop. <laughs> oh wow! I heard listen, I heard your sexual whining. Listen, 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 everybody, listen. Yeah. Oh my god, it's Ben's trademark sexual whine. And inside, there's a picture of Ben. It's a classic picture of Ben, like naked on a couch or something. <laughs> Wait, shut up. Just one more time. <laughs> so when you open the card, if it's too quiet, the card goes, yeah. And um, <laughs> it's too, it's too many times. that's amazing. Ron is really I actually, Ron this is Ron's crazy. I actually guns. had the same idea. I was like, if I could make a card that that when a card that plays music, but if it played Ben's sexual whining sound, I I totally struck out. I could not uh, execute that. Oh shit! It does more than just the whine. Listen, listen. I I was closing it. (laughs) And if you keep it open, it just keeps going. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, hey, fuck. Andrew, it's so weird that you would have the same idea as Ron, seeing as Ben does one joke on the podcast. It's so odd, <laughs> it's so odd that you would have the same thought. Imagine getting that ben. card in an office and opening it up, and you're just in your cube. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> so it says, happy 45th birthday, Ben. It's a little more wrinkled, but... Then there's a photo of me um, nude on the inside, a very famous photo that went viral of me. The naked. people photoshopped Ben kind of yeah. screaming. You've seen it. If you camera, follow Ben on social media, and, you've seen it. It's a ubiquitous yeah, naked it, image of Ben. And it says, but your birthday suit still fits. And that's that's fun. Clever. He says <laughs> so clever, Ron. <laughs> here's what he wrote in here's what he wrote inside. Ben. The stars, 
The stars once whispered secrets to the moon, and those celestial murmurs, your birth was foretold. And in those celestial murmurs, your birth was kind of a low shot with a murmur in my heart. But uh, <laughs> your birth was foretold. points for me. I'm not judging, but points from Kate and Holland for that. Yes. A symphony of stardust and laughter echoing through the corridors of existence. You were born only 33 days ahead of me in this cosmic waltz, my fellow crustacean. We were intertw- an intertwined constellation etched upon the night sky decades before our first encounter. May your 45th orbit around the sun be strange and wondrous like the petal- petals of a celestial rose. Happy birthday, my friend. Signed, Ronnie D. P.S. An AI wrote this because I wasted too much time looking for Photoshop nudes of you. I was going to say, Ron, high as a kite on ketamine, uh, pinning that card. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Wow. I'm going to say you guys have very, very, very big Ugg boots to fit. Because that is pretty, pretty hot stuff. And why wow. he wears the Uggs when he's underwater and has right. to like get it's out of that. It's 98 thing. degrees outside. He, he, well, he's under the ocean. He's under the sea. And uh, Silly it's strange. Choice. All right. So, Ben, you were right. You okay. hate Ron. And yet you clearly admired the work that he put into that. And I got to say, I'm impressed with Ron's effort. And I'm impressed said, by your wisdom and temperance, King Solomon. <laughs> <laughs> See, Andrew, you're politicking right now. I can feel it. Hey, no, no, dude. No. <laughs> not, dude. Um, no. Nah. Not, nah, dude. Not, nah, 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 dude. Not, nah, dude. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. Not on leg day, dude. Not, nah, dude. <laughs> um, so um, I, I don't know... <laughs> Whose cards are who's next? So should I just open one and see? Should or do you guys have a preference? No preference uh, here. I, no preference here either. Okay. Well, why don't why don't I? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go next. I'm gonna open uh, this next one uh, because I like the front of it. It says to my dearest friend Benjamin, <laughs> and I, and it reminds me of being called Benjamin because my mom calls me Benjamin, and so does my she brother. She likes to keep things business business first, family yes, second. She does refer me to me by my full, <laughs> by legal, full name legal name at all times, Benjamin name. Joseph Roy. I am ready to see you now. Now, so uh, it's not there Jennifer is Barry. it is not Benjamin Jennifer Barry Roy. <laughs> huh. It's Benjamin P. Roy. I've been wrong about this for a long time, and I've been talking to people about it. Uh, <laughs> Juniper Berry. <laughs> um, <sighs> the only thing I will say, starting off about this card, it is very, it's it's very, very simple. It's a very simple card. There is no personalized logo, and it was not delivered <laughs> with a personalized polo. Um, Nor did the bearers come inside and watch you eat. No, no. But let's check the crack. Of it when you open it. Yeah, let's hear it. Now that's a classic card sound. I like this one. This is a cra- this is a good this is a good envelope. Ron's it's had nice. more of a crisp pop. This one it. I like. I like it. I, I it feels more um I do like Ron's. There is no fun little message along the seams. So this one was put together possibly by a man who is rubbing his eyes right now with <laughs> and trying to keep from coughing. So just trying to stay awake. <laughs> okay. So it's something. Okay. So first of all, this is the type of card you get somebody. Um, <laughs> oh my god there's what, like how, all these was, high level pastel flowers it's got like watercolor flowers in a vase yes. and the, the message is in gold embossed script why yes. don't you read it why don't you read it to us this is the type of um thing you get uh, the type of card you send to somebody who is over 70 that just had a hysterectomy. <laughs> right. Uh, there's, a section, <laughs> there's a section in the Hallmark store, and it just says, Edith. And this is, the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is, in, this is in This is from the Edith collection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, Jesus. This is gaudy. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> and I can't even read the beginning. 
<laughs> All right. So the card begins. <laughs> One of God's greatest blessings is his, it's capitalized, so this is a religious card, is his gift of special people, the ones who touch our days with <laughs> kindness, fill our hearts with gratitude, and bring capital H, his love, to life. For and then sure. when you open it up... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right, I'll let you guys see... He opens it up. What happened? What is it? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You can't. What happens is a very crudely, a very crudely drawn dick is on a spring of some sort, and it's bouncing around. (laughs) <laughs> it's, it's not, it's so I'll read it because you guys have lost your minds. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dick that boings out. A little hand no, on. but what you can't yeah. see, Adam, that's making me laugh is it says it says doy oy 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 it says like that. It's a do- oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> then, message below it in wonderful handwriting says it says <laughs> says I hope you get <laughs> says I hope you get some quality time with your little dink today. Oh, well that's nice. And it's, love you, bud. Andrew, so um, and look at the, look at the how so it was what made. Andrew did is he coiled up some pieces a piece of paper, <laughs> and so that it, that it springs the penis out at you. Here's the people don't know you can you can add a dick to any card. You can upgrade any card at King Super. What's the, what the, the, <laughs> what the dunk is on this card for me? Is yeah. um, the the outside juxtaposed with the inside? Sure. And um, the fact that it says and it it does flop around. <laughs> Boy, you Andrew, yeah. you know we talked about at the beginning of this episode how we don't really know each other, but then you go and you make something like this that shows that you really do know me. I know exactly and, how you would like to have a car. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this yeah. is. Arguably one of the best no. um, laughs I've had in a little bit. And I got to say, thank you so much, Andrew. <laughs> Look at the side of this. People, mm. we're going to post this on Patreon. It's a great but, card. Wow, it's a great card. It's, and, um, got some concerned looks from the other comics in the green room last night as I was crafting that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, well, somebody, somebody goes, oh, you you putting together your dad's Father's Day card <laughs> <laughs> as I'm hey, taping up a, a dick. <laughs> hey, Dad, oh, thanks God. for having me with your dick. I appreciate you. Fucking, fucking hell, mom. that. Thank you, Andrew. Very good job. Very good entry. All right. My stomach fucking hurts from that. So that's a good sign. Um, boy, you guys sure do know how to make. Um, this last card. This is the is. one. This is the one Adam's card came in. This is the one that upset my roommate the most. Um, <laughs> well, just from the outside. On the outside, it says to Bay Ben, aka best dude ever. And it's, it's covered in stickers. Uh, stickers, cats, yeah. wiener like dog stickers. There's a little there's a little thing that says freaky on it. <laughs> It's like a piece of candy that says freaky. Okay. (laughs) Well, I'm a freaky little piece of candy. A lot of people know that. And then um, there's uh, various. There's There's so many different types of stickers. So I don't know if if Adam just has this wealth of stickers at home. Wait, he has two kids, which means that Ellis right now is missing several stickers from his sticker book. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they put them on the front of their doors, and I had to sort of commandeer them for this occasion. <laughs> Perfect. You, are you going to need these back, Adam? No, nope, or... nope, they need to learn that <laughs> these things that you love that brighten your day, they go away. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's check the snap 
of this one. Now, this is a this one. Ooh, this is really sealed well. This is the best sealed envelope to this part. A lot of spit. A lot of spit on this sure. one. Adam. I had the whole family just, contribute. Just shellacked. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, come have a lick. <laughs> Don't say that. I here. know. Don't, it was... don't. <laughs> All right. Here's the crack. Oh. That sounded really good to me. That one, and it built up to it. Okay. Now. Oh, Jesus Christ. It would be um, funny if a half pound of <laughs> glitter fell out all over your keyboard. <laughs> already... Look, everything uh, will be explained, Ben. Everything will be explained. It's... All right. Show us the card. Show us the card. <laughs> this sucks. This sucks so bad, Adam. Where did you get this? Where Don't worry where about do you it. find a card like that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, so okay. we've got a, a lighthouse. With it's some like boats. A, yeah, it's kind of a Is nice like a- woodcut, maybe, of yeah. a lighthouse. It's got a mariner's compass and a and a sailboat. Yes. Some As clouds. you know, I'm quite maritime. A lot of people say You're that. nautical. Yes, nautical boy. I mean, you're, you're a that, nautical I mean, you just, boy. <laughs> yes. By that, I meant you still wear a lot of nautica stuff all the time. You, oh, dude, this shit's ill. Though, Never goes bud. out of style. Never goes Never, out of style. Especially in summer. It's a great look. Um. So the front says, a father's love. <laughs> what is Adam, it's my birthday. I think Adam has always considered himself kind of your dad. Okay. A father's love is the compass by which his... Uh, children learn to navigate, to sail, and to reach their dreams. And scrawled like a ransom note <laughs> in the space. <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's, it says, heard you got a bum ticker. You need to relax with a frowning face. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. It is I a mean, severe I care font. about you and your need to relax more than these other guys. <laughs> open it up what do you guys think of me as a human being <laughs> this is so Just stupid open it up. <laughs> <laughs> let me read first what the message says before <laughs> it says sensual sexual acts are a proven stress reliever so, in honor of your birthday, and because I value you and your friendship, <laughs> please accept this. And I'm going to hold the card up. It's got, a, it's got a hole. It's got a glory hole. <laughs> please accept this. <laughs> Port- <laughs> portable glory hole to be used Whenever you feel stressed, <laughs> simply text me <laughs> and I'll show up. <laughs> Wait a second. And what's Did great is that so- this is a very regular sized card. It's not even going to mask the entire face. <laughs> yeah. Simply text me. It won't text, even, it won't even go to his hip bones, dude. <laughs> Simply text It'll me. Just be, it's, oh, you've shit. got it memorized. <laughs> well, no, I you just remember just, simply text me. That's how it works. Simply when, text when me stressed. and I'll show up, shove my dink through the hole, <laughs> right. and you can put my <laughs> – wait a second. So you're saying – You're on the receiving end. <laughs> <laughs> so for my birthday, mm-hmm. I get to suck your dick. It's not just suck. There's other through instructions. A uh, through a card. Through a card. But to relieve your stress and get your heart rate no it's it's a gift dude it's a gift (laughs) so shove my dink through the hole you can you can put uh, my dink in your mouth or just manually (laughs) (laughs) massage it until i complete then i think you'll find your stress will have magically flown out the window <laughs> and your tickle your ticker will be that much better off <laughs> fucking love you dude we're gonna build you back better than ever me and my rock hard dink in your mouth <laughs> or your hands or your butt <laughs> 
P.S. I got you a Father's Day card because it gets me hot when you call me daddy. Plus, sometimes it makes me horny to call you daddy. I like them both. And that was on the back around the glory hole. Yeah, dude. So like Adam, Andrews, wait a second. It, it, so yeah. I'm really str- <laughs> I'm really struggling with the idea <laughs> that is my birthday. And yet I get to <laughs> massage and suck your dick. I don't think it's that. There's difficult. all different, there's like- you know, but there's all different preferences out there, Ben. I think Adam is accounting. Well, I mean, for- I think he was quite clear that he'll come over and put his dick through the glory hole. Sexual acts have been known to relieve stress. They can really make you feel calmer afterwards. And you getting so worked up, I thought anytime you need to do a sexual act, <laughs> do one on me. <laughs> and you'll be you'll be so less stressed and now your heart yeah, but why if it's my birthday why wouldn't you be massaging my dink and sucking my dink oh because i can't guarantee my availability for that but however i am i can guarantee my availability <laughs> to be on the so ben you received wall. not one but two of the three birthday cards Reference dinks. So dinks. it's well, good to and you said will, you said we didn't know each other, and I say this birthday card challenge has shown the, and, the opposite. And technically, Ron's has me moaning and going, "Ah, fuck." Yep. yep. Um. So you guys really do know how to make a saucy boy feel pretty special on his big birthday. Yeah, buddy, I gotta happy, say, happy birthday to you. Wow, I haven't laughed that hard in a long time at all of these cards. Wait, show Andrew uh, the inside interior of that card. I don't think he saw that because I did. Oh god, there was some work it's, that I did on that. Yeah, you you've made it a brick wall. I it did. looks it looks like it's a brick wall on the inside, which is strange because I don't think that was the in it the intended interior. Oh, <laughs> nice. Went, and it, and and Adam. The best part is above the hole, he made sure to m- know that I put my dink in the hole. I don't know why you would say dink here. It's the only hole on the card. Um, and it's then below the, it, it's, it's where the dink goes. Love Adam. It's a love Adam. Boy, do you guys really know um, how to make uh, a little a little sexy boy feel very special? This is hard. I mean, really, really difficult. Everyone was was truly special for its own reasons. Um, this is tough. I have to pick a winner. You do. Why don't you go get a trash can and you're going to throw two of them into the trash can in front of us <laughs> to decide the winner. I got a trash can right here. So let me grab it real quick while you guys are now. I'm going to, oh, man, uh, man, this is tough. I got my trash can right All here. Right. Nice trash can. I like that you can see the contents because it's just a basket. So you can see what's in there anytime you want. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is really <laughs> hard. Browse the, tra- the trash. You don't know, recy- you know, recycle at your house. There's no recycling. No, guys, I, do. I, I love Ronnie D. I joke with about Ron Doyle uh, a lot, but I love producer Ron. Uh, he is. There's a reason Andrew. Uh, has his name tattooed across his heart. He is that was fake. One of the, I, we later learned because Ben that loves fake. him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Andrew has a tattooed across his heart because I love him. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, how much I love him. Andrew has a tattoo of him across his heart. Um, no, I love the guy. <laughs> he is wonderful. This card, there it is. There's the tattoo. It's still there. Uh, it'll be there for as long as plastic is on the planet. But um, you think I'm gonna live as long as it takes plastic to fuck, decompose? Man, this is so fucking hard. At the rate you're consuming it, Andrew. <sighs> yeah, you got to stop eating all those microplastics. Look, they're getting into my body one way or the other. I like to have a say in it. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, um, this is so fucking hard. I go for a laugh, and Ron's was super funny, very impressive. The amount of work. If we were going by construction of card and everything like that, I would definitely pick Ron's. Um, but I'm going by the laugh that I got off of it. Uh, and so I, the, the, the last two got the bigger laughs, clearly. I, I, my stomach hurts. So, Ron, that's going in the garbage. Now, uh, Suck it, Ron. Um, holy shit, this is tough. 
I got to go off my instinct because they're both so fucking funny. But for simplicity, for when I first saw it, my stomach hurts. I'm sorry, Adam. Yours is going in the circular file as well. Oh, shit. Bullshit. Andrew, Bullshit. I, I got to give you the win on this one, Andrew. <laughs> I This, when I opened it up, because of... It's because of the outside. Oh, the shit. outside was, but it, this is the closest contest we've ever had. Wow. About as close all, as all three are and great. I in the baseball challenge. It was that <laughs> close. Oh, really? And, <laughs> yes. And I'm, I can't do it, yeah. y'all. I'm sorry. I can't play the joke. Mm. I'm keeping these cards. These are all fucking amazing. These are the best. It, yeah, it, it was so. funny to take so long choosing a card at the store for that reason, not not for like act. I'm like, I needed the perfect, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. religious uh, grandma caliber card. And when I saw I that like, at the care. store, I just started laughing in the aisle, and I was like, okay, I know we've got the winner here. Because I was it, like, I don't care what's happening. I'm just putting a brick wall on this fucker. <laughs> <laughs> the outs. I think Adam. That is the only thing that nudged Andrew just uh-huh. a millimeter beyond you the is that little, yeah, sure, sure. And, and I think because honestly, the inside and the glory hole is so stupid, and the fact that <laughs> I have to, I have to pleasure you doesn't I don't make get why any that's sense. confusing you. Sexual acts re- reduce stress, so I'm like, <laughs> I get so that. Here, have a sexual but act. Anytime generally, you want. the person who, I, and I want to explain this, Adam. Generally, the person who is having the birthday or celebrating the thing is on the receiving end of the the sexual gesture. Well, you so, can jerk yourself off while you're doing whatever to me. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, well, you've wanna, always I been wanna... such a giving lover. <laughs> hey, I just it reduces stress. Boy. Yeah, <laughs> no, I get and you're that. having like a heart issue based off stress. So I thought, how do I help my dude? And Andrew just has a little fucking dick pop up, and I'm trying to help you reduce stress to live longer. So I don't really understand your criteria for what is a good birthday card. I guess. I guess yeah. that's where I. I guess that's where I'm getting frustrated. Is that I yeah. don't understand how you don't understand someone who cares for you versus someone who made a dick joke. Right, would yeah. you say that you are stressed out? Because I know something that is proven to reduce stress. I am suffering perhaps, from stress. I do think perhaps, I'm suffering from stress. Perhaps I could come over and you could suck my dick if you're feeling pretty stressed. I, I don't even it. have a card. How would I start? <laughs> well, we'll. We'll see what Bert brings you. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what Bert Kreischer brings you, guys. Holy shit! One of the funniest fucking things I've seen in a long time. Thank you, guys. This uh, definitely, you are the bestest friends in the world that I never see in person, yep. and uh, I, I, I love you guys. And do you need these stickers back, Adam? That's I do need the, the stickers question. back. Ellis has been inconsolable since I took him off his door. Um, <laughs> I do want to say, Ben. He also needs birthday. that Father's Day card back. His kids gave him to that, and it That's was the card a gave me. temporary goof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to say happy birthday. My promise to you is that I will not remember the date of your birthday come next year. I, I will, will because in. we did that sketch. So I'll always remember it now that you are June 2nd, and Andrew is December 21st. Nice. Well, yeah. we'll see. Two episodes in. We've, we we've did, got it. We've got we it. We did it. Only how long have we known each? 20 years we've been doing shows yep. together. Yeah. And uh, so it didn't take long. Two decades no, for no. me to learn your birthdays. But uh, yeah, what a great challenge. Why don't we uh, do this? Let's uh, running. I was laughing so hard at you guys. Holy shit. Ron's <laughs> card. All of it. That was so funny. We're going to post these on Patreon. Once again, check out our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Grolic saves. Get all kinds of amazing content, but let's listen to some live stand up comedy. The Grolix live show happens the last Saturday of every month. Uh, get your tickets now. And you know what? I have a great idea. Why don't we listen to some stand up comedy? From the birthday boy himself. Um, That's great. Cool. Ben Roy enjoyed the stand up clip, and we will be back with the best act three in the biz. So stick around. Shut up! 
You can't see it because my pants are like over it, but I, my calves are fucking kicking. They're so full of blood and muscle and whatever else is in a leg. I don't know much about legs, but I, they're fucking huge. I'm walking on a couple albino pythons with a couple little baby rabbits inside their throats there. Feel it. My calves are rocking because two months ago, if you were here at the show two months ago, I talked about how I don't like dogs. I didn't like dogs growing up. I was bit by a dog when I was younger. My family didn't have dogs, so I never liked dogs. But then I moved in when I got a divorce with a roommate, and she has this little dog. And now I fucking love this dog. I love this inbred little fuckwad so much. He's the best fucking dog, and so my calves are kicking because I've been taking him for walks. I've been doing the walking thing, which I never had a dog to walk. And we go out on these beautiful evenings and we just walk and we talk about parties and boys and what we're going to do after high school. And and he wants to go to Pepperdine, which I think is a bit lofty for him. And I'm just going to open a gun range. So... But I do, I like to walk the the dog and we go out and I, I fucking love this dog. I pretend he's mine. And it's cool. I, people love dogs. I just didn't realize how excited people get about dogs. They see me walking a dog, and everybody wants to talk to me now. I have a go-across-the-street type vibe. Like, I know that about myself. But when I'm with the dog, people want to stop and talk to it. So I just have made shit up. Do you ever do this with your dog? If you're walking the dog, just make up backstories about it. People will stop me and they'll be like, oh my God, what's its name? And I'll be like, French Fry, which is not his name. His name is Jackson. It's not French Fry. But they immediately latch on and they're like, oh my God, French Fry. Oh my God. He's adorable. What breed is he? I have no fucking clue what this dog is. I don't know. I just feed it carrots and smush its face. That's all I do all the time. I don't know what breed this dog is, so I've just started making up dog breeds in front of them. They'll be like, what breed is he? And I'll be like, well, he's, um, he's half pocket chihuahua, half Hudson Bay Ridgeback. And they'll be like, really? And I'll be like, well, at least that's what his puppy DNA papers say. We're not sure, though. Welcome back to the third act, third actors. Nice to see you. We had a very fun episode that you care nothing about. Wait, wait, wait. I just want to say for the people that are coming in who didn't listen to the episode, I want to I want to say the thank yous because it, it's not you guys shouldn't say it. I want to say thank you to Andrew for the boy. I want to thank Ronnie D for you know how he sends us messages through one of those bank tubes from the ocean floor. Uh, Mm -hmm. thank you for the motorized, uh, card that was written by AI. That was totally insane. That was amazing. And Adam, thank you for the portable glory hole that I suck you off through. Uh, that's right. Uh, on, on uh, my birthday, I want reduction of stress and the reduction. I want to be clear. It's good for Adam. Generally the person that is having the birthday is on the receiving end of such gifts, but sexual acts reduce stress. Yeah. I, I, you can keep saying that it means nothing anyway. Uh, thank you. The three of you, you made the episode funny and you made this little boy very weepy. So thank you. And I forgot to tell you something. This is very true. And I filmed a video. I will post it on the Patreon. I was driving to deliver your card. I get in the car with my wife and two kids. We're going to run some errands. That's one of them. We got to do I kid you not, on the radio, counting wow. cars, my dish wallet is on okay, the radio. Okay, so why don't as we... I'm driving, why don't we as I'm driving to deliver away. to you, I told my boys, truly, I told them, Ben sings this. Ben you, sings this. You told and them... And they like, I didn't, I didn't tongue-in-cheek it, and they're like, this song's great. They like it. They think you sing. I'm, that is a disinformation that I'm going to raise them. You made an incredible birthday card and that is going into the trash can now. Fine. There we go. Fine. So go to Patreon to watch a video of my boys learning that Ben wrote that banger. Anyway, finally, some good fucking news. Our segment where we, we talk about good things because all there is is dog shit in the world right now. Uh, guys, I'm bringing you one, uh, some good news. Um, Facebook notified me that I am an up-and-coming content creator. 
Wow. That's the words they use. Like, do you get do you get like a badge or something? I don't think so. Is there an award ceremony or nope? Does does it mean you start get getting money for all your efforts? Okay, guys, if you're just gonna fucking ruin this by poking holes in it, it's uh, what's a nice Sorry. thing they said to me. Finally, some good fucking news. God, it's my birthday. And you're okay. fucking rising, ruining this. Rising creator on Facebook. Cool, man. Andrew, do you have it in you today to give us, because I know you're dealing with this cough. It's going to be tough. Can you do it today? Can you summon the gods? Wait, I have an idea. Pluggy plug, plugs, plugs, plug, plugs. Plug, 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 uh, yeah, Andrew, what do you got for plugs? Tell me. There's places closing in a month. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Andrew, what do you got? What do you got, Andrew? Uh, come to this great show, July 1st. It's a Monday night. I'm doing competitive erotic fan fiction at the Bug Theater. Our buddy Brian Cook created this insane show. I've been doing it for years. I think Ben's going to yeah. do it with me. It is a yep. spectacle of the highest order. The last time I did it, uh, usually... I my stories are well received. They're great. Last time I did it was in Los Angeles. <laughs> Not a single laugh for my whole story. And I'll tell you Whoa. what you don't want when reading a fictional piece of erotic, erotic fan fiction fan is fiction. no laughs. No laughs. It, yeah, it was insane. I don't know. What did you do? What was your story? It was I what got was like the- an audience suggestion, I think. It was on I think it was like on Trump or something and it was like uh, Trump basically being a cuckold watching his wife get uh, uh, fucked by the Secret Service detachment. Not not a laugh. Not a I mean, that's just laugh. funny in premise. Yeah. You really must have <laughs> fucked that up. Yeah, you blew it. Uh, well, if you don't, as Andrew said, it's amazing. It's basically comics getting up there and reading stories. They've written some audience suggestions, some pre-prepared that are erotic fan fiction. And it gets filthy and so funny. Definitely check that out. Uh, Adam, what do you got? I am coming to Chicago. I'm going to be playing the Lincoln Lodge on July 19th. Uh, our producer, Ron Doyle, he's a data hound. He tells me we have a lot of listeners in Chicago. So if you're a Chicago Grolic Saves the World fan, please come on out July 19th at the Lincoln Lodge. I'd love to see you, and I'd love to pack that place out. So tell friends, Chicago. I I love that. I love that. I want to go to the Lincoln Lounge. Well, listen, the only way you're getting in is if I pack it out and they realize the Grolix brand packs this fucking room out. So, yeah, pack so it out for everybody me. Everybody go. Decent okay, everybody go. Ben down I the changed road my now. mind. Yeah, d- and then you see Dandrew down the road. If we show him, Grolix shows up and puts those butts in fucking seats. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Everybody listening, uh, Friday, July 5th, uh, my band Spells, we will be playing Punk Rock Saves Lives. That'll be at Ratio Overland. Uh, That is not at the one uh, in Rhino. That is the one down on South Broadway, the Overland location. Big lineup, bunch of great bands. It's going to be so fun. So everybody come out. Uh, it's for a good cause. Punk Rock Saves Lives does a lot to uh, uh, to help uh, the community, and uh, the, uh, the proceeds are always uh, needed uh, to continue doing the work they do. So come on out. Amazing lineup, and we're going to dancey, dancey, prancy, prancy. And also, uh, we're all plugging this. Everybody, this Saturday, uh, the Grolix Live Show is happening at the now world-famous Bug Theater. Lineup is huge brian cook morgan gallo ahmed barucha headlining you do not want to miss this show seriously they've been packing out everybody come down get your tickets now to the grolix or all of these shows by clicking the link in the show notes who wants to attack these quick credits who thinks they've got the juice today who's got i got the juice who's i don't even need the notes usually we're fed we have to read it i don't have to do it do it off the tone i want to thank our producer ron doyle for everything that you do. I want to thank Mike Henderson for your help recording audio at the live show. Our theme music is provided by Charlie Continental and you want them on your podcast. You can't get them, but we got them. So fuck you. <laughs> also follow us on social media at Grolix comedy 
And please, please join the Patreon. There's so much good stuff there. Matter of fact, uh, later this week in lieu of an act four, we're going to upload the intro we did at our live Grolics last month. It's me and Ben. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah. A truly insane 10 minute bit about our birthdays uh, that it got that was so funny. We're going to upload that thing in its entirety just for Patreon. So if you if you don't live in Denver, you're a fan of us, you've never been to a live show, this is really a sweet taste of what we do month after month. Grolixcomedy.com forward slash. No, 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 you uh, fucked it up. Patreon, you fucked it up. Patreon, Patreon, Patreon.com. Oh, don't, don't, I'm getting it. I'm finding it. I'm finding it. Let me find it. Let me grow in front of you. Patreon.com forward slash Grolix saves. That's where all the sweet Patreon action is. Thank you to our Patreons for supporting. And that was, that was the credits. That was the credits. You do love to ride the razor's edge. And I will say, I'm going to give you a little bit of leniency. One, because it's my birthday. Thank you. And that relieves stress. Yep. And number two, uh, you did it off book. And that that makes it a little more impressive. 100% so. off book. So I did fuck up the Patreon address, but they know. It's in the show notes. Click it and help us support us and get all that good content. Yeah. Well, we've got a brand new ec- episode coming out next Tuesday as usual. Uh, we don't know exactly what it's going to be, but it's going to be fun and funny as usual. Maybe there'll be a card, maybe a glory hole, maybe a boy. You know, you can never tell. But in the meantime, play us out, Charlie!